God, there's a lot of buildup. I better not screw it up. <laughs> I saw a video of it on the internet, and then I realized that's the thing that I needed to have for my job. In order to do my job, I need this tool. If my wife asks, that's what happens, okay? Um, uh, it actually comes in very handy for this song in particular, because uh, this is a song that I wrote uh, uh, during the thing a week, which is when I was releasing a new song every Friday. Um, uh, and uh, it was, you know, I ran out of ideas pretty quickly. <laughs> and a lot of the time I had to do uh, stupid ideas. I had to use only this, oh, uh, one, this, this particular week, I only had a very, very stupid idea. Um, and it was really just a little fragment of a, of a melody about a guy named Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> and uh, it was unclear to me who he was or what he wanted. Uh, but, you know, it was like Thursday. <laughs> so I had to figure it out very quickly. Uh, the, song, the song itself is about a minute and 15 seconds long or something like that. It's, it's, um, it's kind of nonsensical. There's a guy named Mr. Fancy Pants who has very fancy pants. There's some sort of a parade and there's a competition. And uh, he's defeated and then he's very sad. Because, of course, his name is Mr. Fancy Pants. How can, how can he not hold the title, you know? Uh, and I don't, I don't know what, I have no idea what it's about. And it just confuses audiences, really. So, this device allows me to uh, distract audiences from the song itself. It could be it could be a couple of white Bengal tigers doing tricks behind me. That could that would be another thing that maybe actually that I should get that. <laughs> maybe I need to buy two white Bengal tigers for my job. Uh, anyway, this is called Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 